Hey guys, this is Brad from VD Production Studios here with another Photoshop tutorial. Well, it's not really a tutorial, but it's kind of like updates and stuff. Uh, actually, some of my friends have been having trouble with this, saying that they can't look at their raw files from their like SLR cameras or whatever. Because this is all my basically, basically these are all pictures that I took on my friend's camera, which is a D7000 Nikon D7000, which is an incredibly nice camera. Um, I personally do not have the luxury of having a SLR camera. I have to borrow my sister's, which is a D5000, I think, which is still decent, but it has a really nice fixed focal lens. Other than that, that's another story. I'll, I'll, if you guys want to hear it, then I'll talk to you, talk to you about it later. But these are all files, uh, all raw. As you can see, they're an NEF file. They're raw from the camera. So, if you, But the problem is that my friends are having is that they can't open them. It'll pop up like this. It'll pop up this little warning error symbol which is basically saying that the plugin camera raw uh, which allows you to look at raw camera files doesn't work it doesn't let you view it because it's out of the range that it actually is in if that makes any sense basically the camera raw that comes with photoshop when you first download it like i have right now it only supports up to a certain camera going past that camera it it won't open the files. You can't view the files. You can't look at them. Not even Adobe Bridge, because Adobe Bridge and uh, Photoshop are both like connected. So I'll open up Adobe Bridge, and usually these should be actual pictures. I just selected 50 pictures. Jesus. But they can't because there's nothing here. It doesn't even show the f-stop or the ISOs or anything. The distance, nothing. It can't. It can't actually grab any of it besides the uh, date created, which is basically when I took the picture, which was uh, I think Wednesday. So if I go, this is the easiest way uh, to do it. You go help, updates, and all the updates should be right here. So you have your camera raw 6.6 plugin. If you press learn more, it'll bring you to this page, which will just give you a bunch of information, and that's pretty much it. But I did have it open before where it actually showed you all of the... Uh, cameras that it supported. Obviously, I'm going on off on nothing here, but this should support all the way up to like a D70, a D like 7100 camera or some something. I forgot the actual thing, but it all actually has the. It also has sorry. It also has the Adobe Bridge update and everything. But but all you pretty much need is this camera camera raw to look at raw fo files. But if you have other updates, update them anyways. So just press update. Press yes, and then just wait. So it'll update. It shouldn't take that long. Um, and then you should be able to look at them on Bridge and on Photoshop. So this has been a little short video. I recently fixed my computer. Uh, like my hard drive failed, so I had to reinstall everything. Like I only have Photoshop. Um, well, Photoshop and all the programs that come with it. Uh, Camstasia, XSplit, and two video games. That's it. My computer is completely bare, but I got a new terabyte hard drive, so I should be good for a while, <laughs> hopefully. But I got a brand new case, brand new motherboard, and CPU. My CPU is actually an 8-core uh, AMD 8-core FX, whatever it is called. I don't, I don't know the actual like date called. I mean, not, uh, date, I mean, the actual numbers and everything. It's like an A20... E8120 or something. I, I don't know. I'm just saying random numbers. Um, but it is very fast. I can show you that I actually... I can prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. Boom. Eight cores, bitch. Oh, I shouldn't have said that word. Oh, well. Um, I do only still have four gig, eight, eight gigs of RAM only. Wow. I'm a really bad person for saying that. <laughs> But uh, as you can see from downloading all this stuff, having all these programs open, I'm only using 21% of my core. Um, there is a problem with it. I can go in detail, but I'll probably make another video if you guys really want to know about my computer and all my specs and my entire setup. Um, oh, I need to close Bridge. See? Look at that. Always close programs that you're not using. Like Adobe programs are really finicky. If you're downloading something, an update for one thing, you have to close all over all other things. That's why I only have Photoshop and I don't even have Internet Explorer open. Or, uh, sorry, Google Chrome. But, I shall pause this and be back when it's done and show you that it actually worked. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, it does say that it's done. I actually had to close Photoshop and Bridge both. 
So the plugin should be installed. Uh, you can see me making these in my desktop. Uh, I'm not going to go into what goes on about that. So if I open up Photoshop, uh, just drag this off my second screen. So now I have all these raw files that should be able to open. So if I bring them in, uh, as you can see, my yes, I know my friend looks stupid. <laughs> but uh, you can see that I can actually manipulate them. I don't know how to... You can change the temperature so I can make them more blue and then change that to make it look like a purplish thing or green, whatever. Basically just the tints, uh, the exposures. Um, basically that's that's really all all of this does. Um, but as you can see that it works. I'll even go into bridge and you can see all the photos now. They actually load up. So everything's clear. There's my friend being awesome again. Another one. And yeah, I have a lot of photos. <laughs> this is actually the guy that owns the camera. This is his like this is the guy that owns the actual camera. But uh other than that, thank you guys for watching. Uh and subscribe, rate, comment, and there's me. So, I shall see you next time in my next tutorial video. See you guys.